Hello and welcome to Game Night News, your source for the latest information regarding PC gaming. I'm your host, Sean D. Knight, and this is your news for Tuesday, June 21st, 2016. Our first news for tonight, an Overwatch professional player is being accused of cheating by other pro players and forced to prove that it is not the case. The 17-year-old gamer, who goes by the name Gaguri, is drawing criticism for a performance with the Overwatch character Zarya. With this character, she boasts a KDA of 6.31 and an 80% win rate with 420 played games under her belt. Fellow pro players went so far as to report Gaguri to Blizzard Korea for cheating after winning the qualifiers for the Nexus Cup and overcoming a number of Korean powerhouse teams. In response, Blizzard came out in defense of Gaguri and announced that the pro player has not been cheating. For those who still didn't believe in Gaguri's innocence, a video of her playing Overwatch has been posted. A link will be provided in the description below. Moving on. Developer and publisher Paradox Interactive has released the sales figure for several of its latest games which have reached new milestones for the company. Hearts of Iron 4, a World War II themed grand strategy game, has sold over 200,000 copies in less than two weeks of its release. As for Stellaris, its latest title, the sci-fi grand strategy game has sold over 500,000 copies in over a month of its release. As for the company's World Conquest grand strategy game Europa Universalis 4, the game has sold over 1 million copies and does not include the sales for the game's expansions or other downloadable content. To celebrate these milestones, Paradox is offering a new musical add-on for Europa Universalis 4 to all players for free until July 4th. Dead by Daylight, a 4 vs 1 horror game, has sold over 270,000 copies during its first week. Developed by Behavior Incorporated, Dead by Daylight was released June 14th on Steam and has been the number one top seller on the platform. In the game, four players face off against a player-controlled killer and have to avoid being caught and escape the killing ground. Each level is procedurally generated with random spawn points in order to make it more difficult for players to get their barons. Dead by Daylight is currently available for $19.99 but can be purchased on sale for $15.99 until July 4th. Long-awaited action platformer Mighty No. 9 has launched on Steam today. The spiritual successor to Capcom's Mega Man franchise, Mighty No. 9 is being produced by former Mega Man character designer and lead illustrator Keiji Inafune. However, despite initial enthusiasm for the game, reviews for it have been lackluster with the game receiving an aggregate Metacritic score of 53 out of 100. Mighty No. 9 retails for $19.99 on Steam. An action RPG title has launched on Kickstarter today called Victorum. Developed by Scrapin Bottom Games, Victorum puts the player in the role of a wizard who is part of the Victorum, a forbidden magical order. As the last of that order, it is up to the player to destroy the Inquisition, the faction responsible for wiping out the Victorum. The Victorum Kickstarter has 31 days to reach its goal of $25,000. Players interested in backing the game can pledge a minimum of $1 or, if they want a digital copy of the game, can pledge $15 to receive it when the game is finished. Flame and Foul Studios has cancelled its Kickstarter project for Fable Fortune. The digital collectible card game, based on the Fable franchise, has received funds from an undisclosed source or sources, allowing the developer to continue work on the game. According to the update posted on the Kickstarter page, quote, with the immediate future of Fable Fortune now secure, we have taken the decision to end our Kickstarter campaign early to focus on releasing a closed beta build as quickly as possible. As we've always stated, we want to make this game with your help, your feedback, and your input. We have huge plans for Fortune, and we know that whatever happens in the future, it all started with our already incredible community." End quote. For Kickstarter backers, they will automatically be given access to the alpha and will receive access to the closed beta when it is available. And that is your news for Tuesday, June 21st, 2016. I'm your host, Sean D. Knight, and this was Game Night News, your source for the latest news in the video game industry. Good night, and good gaming.